Greetings, here are the new recommended episodes for October. There were also a lot of great Halloween specials. Now for the top 20. Number 20 comes from Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadow Games, episode 10 by Dia Jackstrand. Vet and our new teacher is an environmentalist. Well, we don't really care. And very vain. I'm seeing a distinct pattern of not caring. And... French. Lucky kids from Yu-Gi-Oh! Number 19 comes from Tide, Episode 1, by The Enemy Net. Now that that's out of the way, it's time for Rukia's story time, featuring Full Metal Chow. Yay! Bunnies! Evil bunnies! Some are cute like everybody supposes. Number 18 is from Rune Soldier, Episode 1, by Team Fart Taco. What do we have anything to do with your small penis? Hey, Melissa, why do you have to deal with that guy? Well, as the great god Scourge Master put it, Louie is the champion and I must loyally serve, uh, even if it is against my will. Damn straight! It's nice to see an act of god, unlike some I could name. Number 17 is from Here Come No Go, Episode 4, by Tyrus GWA. What's the big idea, Kaga? I don't want you ruining my stall again. That nun never got over what you did to her last year. You know she deserved it, Tsutsui! Besides, you shouldn't waste your time with a pathetic game like Go. Why don't you waste it with a real game? Like Shogi. Shogi. Board games for me. He's just bitter there isn't a Shion no O abridged. Number 16 is from Naruto Shippendo, episode 10, by NSTSFTW. I can have you demoted. I swear I'll do it. You know I could just- Shut up, Ten Ten! Can't you see Neji and I are having an argument? God. We don't interrupt you when you're trying to talk. Oh, that's where it's coming from. Wait, did you just say my name right? Of course I did, 4-4. Now can you please be quiet? Tenten certainly is a master of being invisible. Number 15 is from Shaman King, episode 15, by Shaman Stick. Instead of going through hours of filler, we're going to show you four animals holding their crotches to bad touch. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery. Killer does more of a people do something else. Number 14 is from Avatar, episode 10 by Ganziba. Wow, Wang, you're a real ass. Even I wouldn't pick on a handicapped kid. Handy capable. Come again? I'm handy capable. It means that even though my legs are paralyzed, I can still achieve my hopes and dreams just like anyone else. Because I'm handy capable. Hillbillies want to be called sons of the soil. But it ain't gonna happen. Number 13 is from Justice League, episode 8 by Secret Spirit. After all these years, my plan has come to fruition. Now I can achieve my goals and take over the world! Lord Hades, why does your voice sound so, so different? Because my minion, I use audacity! Stupid, boastful god. Loco, episode 5 by the Great Kaitsu. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass with drills! You don't scare me. Even with your big drills, I'm gonna kill you! Spins are cool! This is the drill that pierced the Rajan Aurora. Number 11 is from Vampire Knight, Episode 4, by Sakura Tusukino29. Why does Kaname like you more? I'm always round, being cute, and lovable, yet he never notices! Why?! Mommy-senpai, you say 
Whoops, commercial break. Hold on. Rosebud. Yes, Rosebud frozen peas. Full of country goodness and green penis. Number 10 is from Digimon Adventures, episode 5 by Digimon Camper's Guide. God damn it, I don't have time for you! Okay, okay, enough fighting you two. Can we set up a compromise before we find ourselves in a crazy pairing in some wild preteen girl's fantasy? Too late. Do women find the sight of men fighting as arousing as vice versa? Number 9 is from Golden Sun, episode 6 by Mingma Bear. For the test of strength, you must defeat the most honorable log! <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Don't tell Sasuke. Number 8 is from Rose of Versailles, episode 15, by Cassius614. Hey everyone, the queen had a miscarriage. How does this not leave us exactly where we started? Oh, she's not here. It's all because Oscar drew her sword in front of her majesty. How frightful. I'll hardly claim any expertise here, but pregnancy does not work like that. You'd see that. Never underestimate the stupidity of noblemen. Number 7 is from Vision Pescafloni, episode 14, by HBF2K. The last time we were in a pinch like this, we ran into Malerna's convoy, but we can't count on a lucky break like that happening twice. A Storian merchant convoy spotted! Well, we certainly can't count on their crew being made up of sexy nurses. Yeah, don't bother. I've tried that. It doesn't work. But wouldn't it be great if reality worked like that? Number 6 is from Helsing, Episode 7, by Mala Cody Studios. All the world needs now is love. What the hell is that? What are you talking about, Andy? That thing on the bottom of the screen! I think it's an old Dorito. Can you not Anderson, see it? For Christ's sake, I'm gonna go out of my mind if someone doesn't click there. Oh, cheers. YouTube should be ashamed of all of its advertising. Number 5 is from Tenchi Muyo, episode 12 by Light Hawk Force. Alright! <clears throat> my name's Ryoko and I lick bomb and... stuff. My name's Mahoshi, and I'm an idiot, and I can't believe I made it due to GXP being such a dumb blonde. This is fun! No say te ipsum. No thyself. Number four is from Nobusu Gundam, episode seven, by Gavigan Studios. Good evening, gentlemen. What's going on in the- oh, that thing's monstrous. My, my, my. I'm so jealous. Wish you had one yourself, too, huh? Oh, I don't think I can handle one that big. Oh, I know I can. Mmm. Misleading. Number three is from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episode seven, by Antfish TS. I guess you could say it's time to da 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 <laughs> If you make one more Yu-Gi-Oh reference, I'm gonna snap your dick off. Ain't that against the rules? Kick his ass, Jotaro. A crossover you wouldn't expect, even at fanfiction.net. Number two is The Big O, episode five, by SX and Bird. Well, let me tell you the story of Big O. Paradigm's finest taxi cab service wasn't your normal taxi cab service. It was a ring of corrupt cops that ran a high-profit racket, driving smugglers and drug dealers all over the city. For a few hundred dollars a mile, you got your own police escort. They even had their own business cards. Still, they have nothing on the LAPD's level of corruption. And number one is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Episode 43 by Card Games FTW. Now one of your memories will be erased. I hate to burst your bubble, but there's nobody in my head worth remembering. <laughs> Wait, no, it's the Tweetums! I can't forget about him! Yes, I'll always care. The first underrated bridge series is Helsing, the series by Prog Nemesis. Like many bridge series, it started rough, but it had a very strong ending, especially with its reference. The second underrated bridge series is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood by AR Team FTW. Though suspended more than anyone, this team of the bridgers always comes back to provide great episodes. The next this month in the bridging should come out in early to mid-December. Farewell.